Hello, welcome back. My name is Kweku. I am a pharmacist. Today I'm going to be reviewing the medication Victosa Laraglutide. We're going to be looking at its description or how it works and its uses. We will take a look at some side effects. We will also take a look at a specific black box warning that is special to that class of medications and we will delve into using Victosa for weight loss. And I'll also provide directions as to how you can save on your Victosa prescription if you are watching this from the US. Quick reminder that as in all my videos, it is for informational purposes only and it is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice from your physician. So what is Victoza? Well, Victoza is an injectable medication typically used with diet and exercise to help manage type 2 diabetes. It belongs to a class of medications called glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonist or GLP-1 receptor agonist for short. They are also sometimes referred to as incretine mimetics. Incretins are naturally occurring compounds in the body that help control blood sugar by improving insulin secretion when released into the circulation from the gut. They are normally released from the small intestines when you eat. This has the ability also to slow down the process of food leaving your stomach, which helps control blood sugar after meals. Victoza also helps to prevent your liver from making too much sugar. People with type 2 diabetes may generally have a low level of circulating incretins, so medications like Victoza mimic the actions of incretins to help your body produce more insulin to take care of the blood sugar levels. In some studies, when Victoza was used alone as monotherapy, it was able to reduce A1C by an average of 0.84% to 1.4%, and these numbers are usually even better when it is combined with other diabetic medications. I must say that Victoza is not indicated nor approved for people with type 1 diabetes. It is only for people with type 2 diabetes. The reason is that the way Victoza works requires that you have a functioning pancreas, which when stimulated by the action of Victoza can actually produce insulin. So for that reason, people with type 1 diabetes are not good candidates for Victoza. Victoza may also be used to reduce the risk of heart attack or stroke if you have type 2 diabetes and risk factors for heart disease as well. One other thing that I also wanted to clarify is that Victoza is not insulin. You know, I've had a few instances where some people I've spoken to have gotten confused. Victoza helps your body to produce insulin, but it is in itself not insulin. With respect to dosing, Victoza is given by subcutaneous injection once a day. Dosing typically starts from 0.6 milligrams daily for about a week to reduce the possibility of gastrointestinal side effects and then increased to a maintenance dose of 1.2 milligrams daily. This dose may however be increased to 1.8 milligrams daily if needed and if tolerated. When it comes to side effects, hypoglycemia is a very common occurrence. In monotherapy, that is if Victoza was used by itself, about 7.1% to 12.6% of the population actually experience hypoglycemia. That percentage increased significantly to between 3.6% and 28.2% when Victoza was used in combination with other diabetic medications. So it's highly recommended that once you start using Victoza, you need to be monitoring your blood sugar levels just to make sure that you are not going too low. The next set of side effects which seem to be the most common are the gastrointestinal side effects. Decrease in appetite, constipation, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting are all reported side effects of Victoza. And you notice from the percentages that these are quite common. So for example, for when you take nausea, about 18% to about 28.4% of the population that take Victoza actually experience some kind of nausea. So that tells you that approximately maybe one in three or one in four people that take Victoza at some point in time would experience some nausea. It is for this reason why usually they will start you at a lower dose, 0.6 milligrams, and titrate you up gradually as your body gets used to the medication. Other relatively common side effects include indigestion, headache, flatulence, and upper respiratory tract infections. This list is obviously not exhaustive, so if you take Victoza and experience anything unusual, do well to discuss with your doctor. Now, these sets of side effects are very rare, but they can be serious if they actually do occur. So pancreatitis occurring in about 0.3% of the population has been noted with people taking Victoza. There's been reports of suicidal thoughts, about 0.3% as well. And cholecystitis, which is the inflammation of the gallbladder, in about 0.8% of the people as well. 
And I must say that these are very rare. You know, you're talking about 0.3%. That's a relatively low number. But however, if it occurs, it definitely requires medical attention. So your doctor will be monitoring you for all these things while you take Victoza. Victoza and all the medications in that class have a black box warning that talks about an increased risk of thyroid cancer for people with a personal or family history of thyroid cancer. Studies show that medications in this class cause thyroid C-cell tumors in rodents. It is currently unknown whether Victoza has the same effect on humans. However, for this reason, Victoza is contraindicated in patients who have a family or a personal history of thyroid cancer. And I must say that when we talk about thyroid cancer, we're not talking about people who are taking Synthroid or Levothyroxine for um, their thyroid. Um, that is very different. We're talking about people who have actually been diagnosed with cancer and thyroid cancer and are remission right now or have an immediate family member that has gone through thyroid cancer. These are the people who are exempt or these are the people for whom Victoza is contraindicated. Now, with respect to weight loss, while Victoza is not FDA approved, to be used in weight loss or weight management, several clinical studies have shown that it actually does cause weight loss in the people that take them. In one such large study, when Victoza was added to metformin, adults lost on the average up to 6.2 pounds. The interesting thing about Victoza and weight loss is that even though Victoza itself is not approved for weight loss, there is another medication by the name Saxenda, which has the same active ingredient, Laraglutide, which is actually approved for weight loss. The interesting thing is that because that one is approved for weight loss, most insurance companies don't cover that one because most insurance companies don't cover medications for weight loss. But technically speaking, it's the same active ingredient and therefore, if the same active ingredient is being marketed under a different brand name for weight loss, then that should tell us that yes, Victoza has the ability to cause weight loss, though your doctor cannot prescribe it directly for you to use as a weight loss medication. Now the savings info, if you are watching this video in the US, as of the time of making this video, the manufacturer is offering some coupon assistance to people that are on Victoza. I'll put a link in the description. There are certain things for you to do to qualify. One of them being that you must have primary commercial insurance and then a few of the things in the fine print. So take a look at it and see if you, you qualify. And if you do, just print the coupon and take it to your local pharmacy for them to process it for you for a discount. All in all, if you are able to tolerate Victoza, it's actually a good medication. Studies confirm its A1C lowering abilities, as well as even having some cardiac protective functions. So if you're able to tolerate it and also afford it, it's an option that you can discuss with your doctor in the management of your diabetes. Thank you very much for staying through. I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already done so and share with anybody who you think may also find useful. Thank you so much. I will catch you on the next video.